This is Environmental Science 2, Chapter 12, Part 1 on Waste. In this portion of the video lecture, we will be discussing different types of solid waste, as well as options for those solid waste materials. Solid waste is what is produced by most developed countries. Uh, solid waste is going to be any material that's not a liquid or gas. Uh, so solid waste can include things like paper, plastic, glass, aluminum, styrofoam, um, organic products like food. So these materials have to be disposed of or recycled. But the majority of the waste that's produced by developed countries is solid waste. Also in uh, developed countries, we tend to be a throwaway society. Uh, disposable items are at an all-time high. Uh, there are benefits to disposable items. They are generally made of cheaper materials, so they're cheaper to manufacture. Um, they are cheaper to the consumer. Uh, usually disposable items are less expensive than their uh, non-disposable counterpart. Uh, and they're, you know, a, a positive is that they are convenient as well. Um, you can use them once or twice and throw them away. The problem being is what do we do and what are we going to do with all of these throwaway types of items as solid waste. So all waste is not created equal. Um, certain types of waste we consider biodegradable. So those types of wastes can be broken down by living things or they can be broken down from the environment itself. Um, so they can be broken down by the decomposition through bacteria, uh, or in some cases, things may be water soluble, so they can break down when in presence of water. So biodegradable items, uh, the earth kind of takes care of the disposable of our disposal of biodegradable items. What's left out of waste is that stuff that cannot break down either in the environment or cannot be broken down by living things. So we call those non-biodegradable items. Uh, those are either man-made or synthetic. Um, lots of different types of plastics and styrofoams are considered non-biodegradable. And even though metals are a, a natural substance that are mined from the earth, they will not break down in the environment either. Uh, a huge example with biodegradable and non-biodegradable items are plastics. Um, there are some plastics that are made from natural things, but living things can't break that plastic down once the uh, plastic encounters um, a landfill. So there is a lot of research that is going into alternative types of plastics. Um, and we will discuss those a little bit later on uh, in this section. Most solid waste uh, comes from businesses, uh, industry, manufacturing. About 70% of solid waste uh, that is put out by developed countries is um, industry and manufacturing. Some of that solid waste is considered hazardous. Um, medical waste, for example, uh, even though it's considered organic, um, is not uh, broken down by living things. Uh, also from our last unit, when we talked about nuclear energy, uh, the byproduct of radioactive waste, of course, is very hazardous. So those things need to be treated before they are disposed of. Most of what we'll be discussing when we refer to as waste is what we call municipal waste. So municipal waste is your general city waste. So this is household or business waste. Um, and municipal waste is growing at a very fast rate. Um, municipal waste needs to be disposed of or recycled. Um, and there are uh, areas where municipal waste is becoming a problem and there is no more room for the disposal of municipal waste. So once we empty our trash and the trash man comes and takes it away, where does it go? Uh, in most cases, 
it will end up in what's called a landfill. Uh, landfill is when we put waste into the ground uh, and it's covered by either a layer of um, composted soil uh, or a layer of plastic. Um, a modern type of landfill, um, at the very, very bottom, we will have a clay barrier. Uh, so that prevents soil and water contamination. Uh, the plastic liner um, will also do that as kind of a last defense before it gets to the actual soil um, to take care of uh, soil and water contamination as well. All of the liquids from the garbage that is put into the landfill, um, the plastic trash bag that you put your garbage in is not necessarily <laughs> the strongest items to put uh, your garbage in once it gets into a landfill. Those bags rip apart uh, and any liquids are in there are going to do what's called leaching. So it will come out of the bags um, and since gravity takes everything uh, downhill, uh, that water and, and all the grossness of the uh, garbage will <clears throat> fall to the bottom of the landfill. So they need a way to collect that water so it does not contaminate groundwater. Um, so there's some sort of leachate collection, usually they're vents or pipes, um, to carry that contaminated water to be processed at uh, the city water treatment plant. Uh, then there are every day, um, there's layers of, of the trash um, and then it's covered either, like I said, by uh, either a layer of composted soil or in some cases, uh, a plastic layer. Landfills are useful. Uh, we do need them. We need somewhere to, to put our trash. So it is somewhere for the trash to go. Um, a negative of a landfill, uh, that leachate, again, that water, it's gonna contain a lot of toxics from that landfill waste. Uh, and we don't want that to um, escape the, uh, the containment of the, the landfill area. Uh, so water daily rains, uh, precipitation, or when it's really humid. Um, that water can seep through a landfill and that leachate, if it gets into the groundwater supply, it can contaminate groundwater. Uh, and we know that groundwater takes a very, very long time to purify naturally. A uh, negative aspect of landfills also is uh, the gases that are produced from that decomposing waste. Uh, a lot of the gas that's produced is methane. Uh, methane is flammable. Uh, on the positive spin on methane gas from landfills, uh, there are some places, um, for example, uh, different corporate farms that will have an area for their own solid waste and they actually use that methane gas to power parts of uh, their, uh, their farm. Um, so there is research into kind of going into how can we use our trash, how can we use our solid waste to benefit and to actually generate energy without burning uh, certain types of fossil fuels. Uh, the Resource Conservation and Recovery Act um, is an act that requires uh, backup systems for storing leachate, uh, ventilation pipes for methane, and all of those other gases. Um, so the RCRA makes sure that landfills are properly sealed, properly vented, so all of those toxic things from solid waste can't get into our soil, our water, or our air. This has been Environmental Science 2, Chapter 12, Part 1 on Waste.